Bulldog Country, this week we're getting to know the senior captain on the men's hockey team, Dominic Tony Nato, as well as talk with him about the upcoming series against North Dakota and the rest of the season Bulldog hockey has to come. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. Two and two all five. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Point flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Dominic Tony Nato. I'm from Duluth, Minnesota. I play hockey here at UMD in my position center. Uh, I'm a senior. Uh, and I'm in organization management. Before we dive in, we're really excited to have the opportunity to talk with you on this segment, considering there was talk last spring of you foregoing your final year of eligibility to sign professionally. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your defining moment to decide to stay at UMD? Yeah, um, I mean, I didn't think uh, I was fully ready to, to leave, so I thought UMD was, was a great spot to better my game and, and work on the things I need to work on, and as well as be able to get my degree. So um, there was a lot of plus side in staying, and, and that's what I did. And growing up in Duluth and with your dad playing hockey here at UMD also, um, can we assume you've always been a Bulldog fan? Absolutely, yeah. Um, just growing up in Duluth, they've, they've always been my favorite team. Uh, I, we had season tickets when I was young. We'd, we'd always come to the games. And, yeah, I just I love the city, love the program, and couldn't ask for a better spot. And can you tell us a little bit about your Bulldog heroes growing up? <laughs> oh, Bulldog heroes. Um, it's a tough one. I mean, I, I saw so many players, um, but uh, it just overall it was just fun to watch. And, and um, uh, obviously when they won the national championship a couple of years ago, I mean, that was that was an awesome moment. And, and I remember uh, I was in a hotel down in the cities actually watching it. And I just I just remember the whole thing. You're kind of the face of the UMD men's hockey team, being that you're the captain. Um, what has this experience been like so far, and how did you react to the news that you were captain, considering your teammates voted you that? Uh, I mean, it's just been an awesome experience. Um, it, it's a huge honor to be a captain. Uh, I mean, growing up in Duluth and always wanting to be a Bulldog, it was, it was a dream come true to come here, and then and now to be able to see, uh, be, be the C, it's, it's just awesome, and um, couldn't be happier. And were there any significant leadership qualities that you picked up from last year's captain Andy Wolinski or any of the assistant captains? Yeah, I think uh, over all the years I've been here, I've, I've picked up a little from from every guy. Um, I mean, Adam Krause was was pretty outspoken guy and and led that way and and led by example as well. And and him and Andy both, um, they they just worked hard every day and and um, came to the rink uh, and gave it their all and and wanted to get better. So just following them uh, by their example is what I wanted to take. And tell us a little bit about how the season has gone so far. Uh, what kind of expectations and hopes did you have for the team going into the 2016-17 season? Well, I knew we had we had a good team, and that uh, that helped with my decision in coming back. Uh, I, the the core guys we had coming back, and and the new freshmen we had coming in, I knew we'd we'd have a good team and a good chance at a run for a national title. So, I think uh, so far we've we've been playing pretty well, but uh, I think I think we got better, and hopefully we can have a good weekend against North Dakota this weekend. So far, the team has faced nationally ranked teams every weekend, including this upcoming weekend. In what ways would you say that has benefited or impacted the team? Well, it just makes us better every day. Um, going against such good competition, uh, it makes us raise our level of play and gets us better every day. And I think uh, the farther you go um, with a run in playoffs, uh, you know you can, you can compete with those teams. So I think the schedule we have is, is really good for us. And you, would you say you prefer playing at this level then rather than kind of easing your way into the season? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, it, it gets us better every day, and, and that's what we want. Uh, whether it's practice or games, we want to keep moving forward and getting better. And this upcoming weekend, you're hosting top-ranked defending national champions North Dakota. Uh, how have the Bulldogs prepared for this series, and what can we expect from this year's North Dakota team? Well, I mean, North Dakota is always a really good team. Uh, they got a lot of skill. They're a hardworking team. Um, they're physical. They do, they do everything right. So it's it's going to be a, a good, tough matchup, and 
Uh, we just we got to be ready to go from from puck drop. We got to play a full 60 minutes of hockey. Uh, we can't have any lapses out there because they'll take advantage of it. And I think uh, a big thing is discipline too. They got they got a good power play, and so we got to stay out of the box. Awesome, thank you. And now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Dom outside of Bulldog Hockey. So we're just going to ask you a couple of questions. What is the best gift anyone has ever given to you? Oh, best gift. Um, probably just an iPhone, I guess, <laughs> for my mom. <laughs> Lake or ocean? Lake. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. What superhero would you want to be and why? Mm, that's a good one, too. Um, probably Spider-Man. Uh, just because he swings through the city and can climb up walls. If you could play any D1 sport other than hockey, which would it be? Probably baseball. Um, I grew up playing baseball and always have loved the game. What are your biggest pet peeves? Bad drivers. Um, I tend to have some pretty bad road rage, so uh, bad drivers really get me going. Uh, favorite food? Favorite food, I would have to say rice steak and cereal. Um, cereal I have every night before I go to bed. All right, and then finally, your favorite bulldog moment? Favorite bulldog moment? Um, probably beating the Gophers in the regionals two years ago.